Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar continues on its bearish track since the break of 77.25 and firstly initiated by the bearish divergence, the bears have come in greater numbers. And from the break of the midway point on the RSI at 50, and also with the MACD now married up to the bearish sentiment, does expect to see further pressure on the downside and eventually see the move to the lower side of 76 and maybe even towards about the region of 75 and a half. Any advances should find resistance around 77.60. The US dollar, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies and is weighted at 57.6 to the euro, has maintained its bullish track as the euro declines since the break of the trend. Now from 122 has initiated a potential target of 120 and reassessed from there, with both the indicators supporting a decline and with the dollar also strengthening, does keep the bears on a downward path to that trajectory, as I mentioned, of 120. Not quite getting the break of 104.30.60 on dollar yen. Nevertheless, we're not backing away. I'm a little bit cautious, so I'd rather sit on the sidelines just at this level, just in case we do get a false break like previously after the attempt. The market did try about four times and then gave it all away. If we see this again, then we could see a pullback to the lower region of 103. Still, keep in mind that a clear break of 104.60 still has a hurdle around 105 and then maybe progress into 106. But at the moment, the market is tackling this level and appears to be struggling. Sterling has broken the 135.35 level and maintains beneath there just for the moment. Now, looking at the potential downside target is at 133.5. And while the technicals also play the part into the bearish case, does support my view. Sterling yen, surprisingly, still holding quite close to that key level of 141 figure 30. I still feel like previously we'll get a rejection. And therefore, with the sterling leg breaking down, should also see a further slide for the sterling yen cross. And as I mentioned, could see around 139.40 as a potential target. Since the bearish outside range day, the break of the trend and the $89 drop on Friday for gold is the market did challenge the key level of 1,820, but respected it after inking a low of 16. Nevertheless, we're not out of the danger zone and the bears still lurk, and a break of this level would give exposure towards 1,765 to about 75. However, do keep a close eye because we could see a false break, potentially due to the fact we are oversold. However, the bears are still pressuring this level. Although oil view is up to $54 as a potential target since the break of 50 confirming it, the trend is overheating and also the RSI has backed off from the overbought level. We may see a spike or a brief challenge there, but do keep an eye on the downside as a break beneath that $49 mark could see a drop back towards 44 So it is a little bit um, tricky at these levels. And do continue to keep your stop losses and take profit accordingly to your risk management. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday report. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.